um, the U.S. Women's Amateur. Yes. That's a lot of pressure, wasn't it? Um, getting prepared for it and obviously back in what, six days of golf, how many rounds of golf? Yeah, um, it was rounds 11, 12 rounds of golf, not including practice rounds, um, but it was definitely a very long week um, where you had to be mentally and physically tough. So, um, just you know, coming into the event, I was kind of battling an injury uh, with my wrist, but um, so I didn't really practice. Um, but you know, going there, I just had the goal of getting the cut, and it turns out it went out. That's awesome. And how important was it for you, your dad? Obviously, he's been a driving force in your golf. How important, how soothing was it for him to have to learn about with you? Yeah, it was great because. Um, you know, he's watched me ever since I started golf. Uh, he actually didn't start any longer before me. Um, but so his experiences were kind of similar to mine um, in the golf world. So, um, you know, just having him with that, you know, we're just able to share uh, our experiences. Is there anything that you do that's special to handle that type of pressure? Obviously, you've been in other situations like that before, but. I mean, the U.S. Women's Am against the defending champion, that could not have been an easy, easy yeah. task at all. It definitely wasn't, um, because, you know, I watched Gabby last year and she played amazing. Um, and this year, I was just kind of blown away by her and the way she played. So, um, yeah, it was definitely difficult. Yeah, I was just trying to take care of my ball, and um, as long as I put it into a position where I can try to convert for birdie and you know guarantee a par, it was all I was thinking about. <laughs> was there any one shot as you were coming down the stretch that you thought, oh, I gotta pull this off, or oh, that yeah. really? Definitely. <laughs> um, it was on 36 hole where you know I pulled my drive left of the cart path. I was in a sticky situation under the trees, had to punch out a five hybrid didn't work out because there was too much room to cover. Right. And so I had to pull off a wedge shot, but at that point I was just thinking, oh, I needed to put I needed to put the ball in a position where I can make far at least. Right. Um, because, you know, once you go over the flag, you're in a dead spot too. So at that point, you know, I just clicked and it was the very moment for the next one. Awesome. Finally, when uh, when Gabby had that putt, the tie on the 18 and she missed what? I mean, what went through your mind? I mean, yeah, my, that's, you weren't expecting that, obviously. I really wasn't because, you know, I had to assume that my partner uh, was going to make every single putt yet. Uh, and that's what you have to do, so that's what you prepare for match play. And I was totally ready to go on to the next hole. And once she missed the putt, I just, like, my jaw dropped. I was like, wow, <laughs> this is over. Um, and, you know, that putt was actually quite difficult on TV. It doesn't do the break justice uh, and her lip out was very cool but um yeah, it, it is what it is. It is, what it is. Yes. Um, well, and then after that, you went straight to the uh, Rolex Junior Championships. Yeah. How did um, obviously you won? How did uh, winning the US Am prepare you for the Rolex Junior Championships? Yeah, it was um, definitely a lot of pressure. Um, you know, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Um, you know, I was very nervous going into it, and you know, just having any expectations as always um, because I just feel like golf is such a difficult sport where there's always these ups and, ups and downs so uh, I was going out there and just trying to shoot the best score I can and um, turns out the first round I had was the 64s and I broke the course record so it's, it's, it's awesome.